Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This time I'm looking at the Star Wars special action figure set from the San Diego Comic Con. Exclusiveness that it is um, the Dr. Afra comic set. This is an amazing pack. I got this yesterday in the mail. Opened it up, clearly. That's what I do. But uh, yeah, this would have been really sweet to keep in the package. But uh, I just can't do it. <laughs> I'm hopeless. I'm without hope. Anyway, we'll just move the figures out of the way quickly. We've got Dr. Afra, BT1, and Triple Zero. So, there's the bubble. There's a little bit of writing in there. It's nice, glossy packaging. It just looks amazing. It looks really, really slick. Can the logo down the bottom? Obviously, it's not made by Kenner anymore. On the back, I've got this image there of Afra and the droids from the comics. Um, I've recently caught up with the trade paperbacks of the Dr. Afra series and the more I read the more I like the character. Um, yeah, I really really like the character, that's what I was going for. A little right up there on the back, there's this Hong Kong sticker where I got it from. Um, I'll try and remove that bit close later because I'd like to disassemble the card and, keep, and still keep this sort of card image here and store that away with all my other bits and pieces that I like to, that I like to keep. Um, side of the package. And the same on that side. So pretty slick stuff, Hasbro. Nicely done with that. Um, if I ever find it again one day, I might I might get it again and keep, keep one sealed. But uh, we'll see. Let me just bring my camera down. And we'll get looking into these figures. So the first one we'll look at is BT1, or BT. Now, for the most part, it's, it's hard using little figures again. I watched Fly Guy's review of this the other day um, before I got it, and he was having trouble re reviewing these figures because they're so small. We've been doing... It's been um, it's been a long time since I reviewed a, reviewed a three and three quarter inch figure, so it's, it's a little bit different. A little fiddly thing. Um, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, this is using... Um, Old, old parts from Builder Droids and um, yeah as you can see the arms the legs pop off quite easily I'm sure this bottom leg just slides out yeah so there so it's an old Builder Droid mold um, with a new head um, which I'm probably probably does pop off I'm not going to try but uh, yeah he's he's a pretty cool looking droid he's got these big guns which you know Obviously, it's it's not realistic that these guns would fit inside him, but it's it's a comic book, so you've kind of got to suspend a little bit of disbelief. And I think I think that's that's all part of the charm. But uh, they are both removable and attached to the outside of the little plates, so you can reattach these plates and have him. So he's got the weapons stowed away. You can do that on both sides. As you can see, a couple little pegs there, pop that one out, and you can display him, such as in his sort of dormant, non-killing mode, but uh, yeah, how did I get them off the other day, there we go, so yeah, again, just pegs in the head, nice and easy. Same with the side, nice and easily put back together. It's a nicely done looking little droid, I like him a lot. Just put him aside, now we'll look at triple zero. Now this is a complete repaint of 2010's Vintage Collection 3PO, 2010 or 11, I can't remember. Let's get some more light. Now I'm not a big fan of this um, figure, as, as, I, I like it, it looks good. Um, I'm not a fan of the mould that they used, I wish they'd used a different 3PO. Um, I never got that Vintage Collection 3PO, I just, it just didn't sit well with me, um, that he had all these pull apart bits and... 
yeah this one has a back piece that will not stay in I'm gonna have to super glue that in because it just does not want to hold at all but like, yeah it doesn't doesn't clip in doesn't hold in very nicely I'm not sure whether the whether the 3PO had that same issue but yeah that just that just bugs me a little bit um I didn't I don't really like having to super glue things in but you know it sort of it holds a little bit but not really um again now I'm going to super glue this on because his face comes off revealing the sort of the naked droid underneath but yeah that's going to get glued on as well as this chest plate I like what they do. I like the. I like what they did. I just, I just don't think it came out as well as it could have. But I think that's all that came off. No, there's a leg, leg panel that comes off too. But yeah, like I said, not not the biggest fan. I'd rather just see a complete droid put together, and then buy a separate droid that's in pieces like the. Oh, Phantom Menace 3PO that we've had. But otherwise, he looks cool. The sort of dark gun metal grey sort of colour of the of the droid. Um, he's funny in the comics. He's, he's a real piece of work. Bloodthirsty and... Yeah, I kind of wish they'd, they'd given it a new mould with this, with this character and given him some of his little attachable... Attach attachable implements that he has so just coming out his arm and all that and that would have been much much nicer way to put this figure out but that's okay because this is where the uh this is where the light shines on this figure and it's uh in this pack and it's dr afro herself there we go I'm so close to this thing. <laughs> yeah, she's a fantastic looking figure. All new. Um, hat isn't removable, but the sort of hat and hair are the sculpted piece that goes on her head. Um, yeah, I'm just going to readjust my camera just a little bit. There we go. That's better. So she's got a blaster, which is similar to Han Solo's, a little bit different. And that fits nicely in her holster. I actually like that you can have her arms move in, in and out of her holster while she's still holding the blaster. I think that's an awesome detail. Like her tattoos on her arm. Like the orange little vest there, which is removable if you wanted to take that off. But it just looks good with it. Very nicely done. She's only small, but she looks good. So the fingerless gloves are good. She's got her holding her belt. Which, speaking of the belt, looks good too pants she's got the stripes a couple of straps around the top of her boots there as well it's a cool looking figure and she is eventually getting a single carded release as well um, I think they just showed that at San Diego Comic Con actually the image of uh, Dr. Afra on the single vintage card, which looks, which will look cool. But uh, yeah, as far as I know, I don't think they'll be really re-releasing these droids. I think this is the way you're going to get them. Her articulation is as follows: she's got the, I think she's got the, just the ball and socket head. I think. Cut till. 
I think so. It's got a ball hinge in the shoulders, ball hinge in the elbows, uh, just swivel wrists. It's got quite dainty little little joints there. So it's got this sort of upper torso joint there. Hinges at the legs, thighs at the cuts at the thighs, joints in the knees and ankles. So it's great to see fully articulated three and three quarter inch figures back. It's that's really good. Thank you, Hasbro. Keep it up. This is a cool pack. I'm glad. I'm glad to have it. I'm really glad to really glad to get it. Again, much like the uh, Han Solo set, I just did a review of. You should be able to get that at Hasbro Toy Shop when they put them up. I can't remember the dates. Again, have a look at HasbroToyShop.com, and you should be able to find out when they're going to drop there. And good luck if you can score one, because I reckon they'll go really, really quickly as they have in the past. Get these together for a for a bit of a group shot. So there it is, guys. That's uh, Doctor Afra BT One and Triple Zero. Thank you very much for watching. Drop any comments down below. Any thoughts and feedback? Always greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, it's always fun to chat back with you guys so until my next video thanks for watching and may the force be with you